In Slovakia, a political shift may be on the horizon. On September 30, this small European nation votes in a pivotal parliamentary election. Leading the polls is Robert Fico, a former prime minister known for his admiration of Moscow and his political similarities with Viktor Orban of Hungary. This potential political change has Europe on alert. In 2022, Slovakia passionately defended Ukraine when Russia invaded, becoming the first NATO member to send fighter jets. However, a potential FICO leadership could reverse this stance, leaning in favor of Putin. Slovakia, home to 5 million, is a noteworthy example of the impact of propaganda. A former defense attaché was once caught bribing a journalist to spread Kremlin's views on the Ukraine war. The revelation went viral. Globsec's Annual Vulnerability Index, a measure of political allegiance in ex-communist states, highlights Slovakia's unique stance. Half of Slovaks see the U.S. as a security threat, while only 40% blame Russia for the war in Ukraine, the lowest in Central and Eastern Europe. Post the 1993 dissolution of Czechoslovakia, Slovakia's Western alignment was doubted, leading to delayed NATO membership. By 2004, joining NATO and the EU seemed to solidify its alliances. Enter Robert Fico, a populist leader. Despite his anti-West rhetoric, he maintained the international status quo. 2018 saw the nation's outrage after the murder of journalist Jan Kuciak and his fiancée, Martina Kuznarova, who investigated Fico's government ties to corruption. Amid massive protests, Fico and his cabinet resigned, not before alleging George Soros's involvement. 2019 brought hope with the election of President Zuzana Kaputova. However, political instability ensued, with the country facing multiple challenges including the pandemic. The administration dissolved due to internal disputes, leading to a political vacuum. FICO capitalized on this, echoing Orban's politics, opposing support for Ukraine, and making controversial claims. A troubling increase in anti-West propaganda on social platforms like Facebook raised alarms, with President Kaputova warning of an information storm, backed by Russia. She's decided against seeking re-election. Now, FICO's Smur SD leads in polls. An interaction with the party's vice chair, Lubos Blaha, revealed a view of the Russia-West conflict as more cultural than military, portraying Russia as defending its identity against Western liberalism. Recalling memories from the 80s, when the Iron Curtain separated Czechoslovakia from the West, it's evident that the political game in Slovakia remains unpredictable. Yet, what's clear is the return of FICO's politics, reflecting a wider European concern about the state of liberal democracy.